how do you feel that we take animals' rights away to eat them? Uh, <laughs> okay, so here we are in London. We've got a massive march behind me. The Pride March. We're going to go interview some people about equality. Let's go. So you've been participating in the march today? Yep. Yes, yeah. we have. Yeah. yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it Do you really love is. the march? Oh, yeah, it's, oh, really it's good. beautiful. <laughs> the appreciation for different cultures and things. It's just wow. lovely. Yeah. So what does today symbolise for you guys? Just acceptance, yeah. really. Yeah. Just And yeah. the fact that I'm bisexual kind of just helps me feel more comfortable yeah. in my own self. It's, it's a just really nice. Yeah. environment. It is. Yeah. It is. You can be yourself yeah. and you don't yeah, have to worry about being oppressed or yeah, judged. Exactly. Or, what does today mean to you guys? Like, what does a, a, a march like this sort of embody? What does it symbolise to you? It kind of allows everybody to embrace their inner self. It kind of, because I've seen about seventeen different people today. Like, kind of, yeah. Di like, just di like I've had moments of today where I just see like a random man walking down the street wearing whatever he wanted. He wanted. No, like today, nobody cares. Like every other time of the year, you just see somebody just looking at him, yeah. like thinking, "What the hell's wrong with him?" Yeah. Like, or like, just today is just one of those days where you just like. You don't, it's one of those events where you could just go and have fun, not for any specific reason. Yeah. You could just come and like, just be, feel. You can be yourself without feeling judged or yeah. f being being victimized for who you are. And sorry, <laughs> excuse me, my fanny pack. Um, yeah. I'm just, you got one too. I like yours, yours is better. Um, so what does today embody for you? Uh, well, I love human rights, so that's why I'm here. Yeah. Human rights, yeah. equality, yeah. yeah. Everything, yeah. Amazing. So, how do you feel uh, that it's got to this point where there's so many people here and so much acceptance? And uh, I think it's amazing. Obviously, uh, well, we are Finnish, yeah. so in Finland, uh, uh, trans laws are a huge thing yeah. now. So, yeah. uh, so basically, we just want the equality for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't be shy. Come on. It's all about positivity. Ah, so uh, don't be. I'm straight too. <laughs> this is a safe space. <laughs> um, so. I just want to ask you guys, what does today embody for you? What does it symbolise, a, a march like this? I guess it's kind of uniqueness and being able to show who you are. A lot of people saying, oh, it's about you can kiss anyone and stuff like that. Well, no, yeah. it's just about being yeah. you. Without being fear of being judged yeah, or... I think a lot of the time, like, gay and trans people, they're politicised, where we actually, we just want to exist. So the world is being more progressive, but what, what, is, what would be the protests about? Like, what would it be about? There's still some people who don't extend equality to yeah. human beings. I think um, hate crime towards trans and non-minor yeah. people has like doubled or tripled yeah. recently, which is really worrying. And, and even within the LGBTQ it, community. Yeah, even within the community, there's divisions between people. Who, there, there are the gays who are like, oh no, like, I, I don't know about gay trans. or yeah. straight, and I don't know about trans people. I think we've got to be more inclusive and, of the whole okay. community. <laughs> um, what does equality mean to you guys? It just means that every, well, like it is, like it states, it's just everyone's yeah. equal. Everyone and it's, gets treated the same, yeah. no matter what you are. It everyone is. has like equal rights yeah. to freedom yeah. and not the right not to be oppressed or yeah. used as... Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. What does equality mean to you? Thousands of years of oppression and now we're here. It's amazing to see, I think. Wow. So equality is like anti-oppression. It's like the opposite of it being oppressed and having your bodily autonomy taken from you, sort of being judged and, and say discriminated against. So this sort of march embodies sort of equality, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got to extend our compassion to encompass all human beings, but I'd also ask you like, would we also extend that compassion to non-human animals as well? Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah. I'm, I'm vegan. vegan. I'm a vegan, so. You're a vegan. Yeah. Oh my god. So you believe in compassion and yeah, equality 100%. for all? Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. What does equality mean to you? Quality. Equality. Equality. Uh, what does it mean to you? I don't know. Because everybody can be who they want to be. Yeah. And, and no double labels. So like, you don't, no fear of being sort of having your rights taken away or being discriminated against those things? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I was, I'm going to throw something in here, in the mix, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, would you extend that same equality to anim the animal kingdom as well? Ah, okay. Uh, yes and no. How far do you, do you extend that? Do you extend that to non-human animals as well? Well, yeah, because everything should be equal. So even yeah. animals, like when animals are abused and things, it really like upsets me as yeah. a person. So I just... Yeah, how about yeah. You? I, feel, I feel the exact same way. Yeah. yeah. Because we, we extend these equal rights to human beings and, we're, and it's starting to be pr progressive now, yeah. especially with the LGBT community being yeah. more accepted. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of animals that still aren't um, sort of free from their chains. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, not great. Like, I would like to do more, but obviously I'm just one person and yeah. there's so yeah. many people here. You have to have everyone kind yeah. of come together. Yeah, exactly. like this. Yeah, sort of yeah. Thing. like this, exactly. Do you agree with that? 
Yeah. Okay. So ha do you extend that equality? Would you extend it to just the, the animal kingdom as well or just to human beings? I was beings? just thinking that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. and, and how about you? Would you extend that equality to animals as well? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because... Um, There's some things that are wrong with the world that we could change, but really, it's, it, it's all can be done in time. In, in time, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, if we don't look at each other as equal, how like there's a lot of people who don't look at each other as equal. How are we supposed to extend that to animals if we haven't even got that far with each other yet? It's almost like the concept of like, oh, like if you can't love yourself or you can't love others, how can you love anything? Yeah. Like, if you can't love yourself, how can you love anything else? Do you guys eat animals by any chance? Um, I, can't, I don't. I'm not exactly a massive one. I I, I, I kind of I've gone back and forth with um, um, being a vegetarian. Okay. But then I occasionally eat, like maybe chicken or like you eat birds beef. or. And how about no. you? occasionally? Yeah. Yeah, occasionally. And um, do you, do you, I, eat, you eat animals or no? No, but, you're a vegetarian. I wasn't expecting this to <laughs> become yeah, a vegetarian. Because yeah. yeah. So the same principles that this march embodies, you would extend to non-human animals that are being oppressed and killed and. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a very different issue, um, and you could talk about that entirely like for hours but yeah i think definitely it's obviously. generally the same principles it's the same principles of heart yeah, yes, yeah. Absolutely. would you agree with that or yeah definitely yeah. i feel like i do eat fish a lot <laughs> so <laughs> i am japanese and so it's kind of part it's of cultural me. for you yeah yeah but of course there are different areas in which you can get things and so having the kind of organic section where they, they are, are humanely killed or things like that it's more important to think about those kind of things rather than oh yeah no I just get it from a massive factory where they're mass produced yeah. to be uh, genetically modified to be killed and yeah. so it's those kind of things where it's very different in how you look at human rights and animal rights and how they kind of seem. Yeah. Yeah. Yes and no? Yeah. Give me the yes. <laughs> yes. And then tell me the no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I have so many friends who is starting to go to vegans. Oh, and, vegans? Yeah, vegans. And, and I'm very intrigued. Intrigued? Yeah, to learn more. To learn more? And be about, uh, I always like to go to the gym. Protein taking is my kind of... Uh, uh, Me too. Yeah. 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 So, but I have friends who are bodybuilders who are vegans as well. Yeah. So I just need to learn more, I think. So what yeah. do you feel about the... the do you th how do you feel that we take animals' rights away to eat them? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have do an Do you feel answer. like that's equality? <laughs> uh, uh, do you guys eat animals? Um, yes, but I've tried and I've got medical problems, so yeah, I kind of can't. But so you have to eat animals for medical issues? Yeah. How about yourself? I do eat meat. Um, I've tried to kind of, sometimes I kind of try to go veggie and kind of see what it's like. Yeah. And yeah. Do you feel like that's consistent with your values of equality? Like Because obviously animals have to have their life taken yeah. from them. Um, so we can eat them. If there was a way of living without uh, consuming them or oppressing them or killing them, do you think we should be consistent with our values in that respect? Yes, I think yeah. we should, but obviously there's certain issues with just the human like our species, yeah. We kind of have to, in a way, well not all the time, but certain people with like medical issues and stuff, we kind of have to take it because we can't get the other nutrients or stuff that we need from just plants on their own. So. Okay, so you feel like it's a it's a need, so we don't really have a choice, we have to kill them for these well, nutrients? Not, not for everyone, but for certain things and people, obviously, there is a balance, but I do agree with like what you're trying to say, yeah. like how we should stop eating animals, but obviously... Extend our compassion to yeah. include yeah, animals exactly, and like, yeah. you know, pigs in gestation crates and chickens yeah. in factory farms and animals in slaughterhouses and they don't really get a say over their bo bodily autonomy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not really that great. You, you weren't expecting this to uh, become a talk about animals or...? You're making the point, it's all equality at the end of it. What, what the point I'm trying to make is, do you think if we extended that equality to animals as well, that we would we'd have we'd be more likely to uh, come to a peace, more peaceful world if we sort of encompassed all sentient beings? Yeah. Yeah? Would you agree with that? Yeah. Well, like... What are your feelings? This event, really, this event can become so much more in the future. If we care about equality, we should extend that f as far as we basically can, yeah? Would you agree with that? Like, we, yeah. we couldn't uh, ask for equality in one context and then deny that equality from say animals in factory farms or animals in slaughterhouses, would you agree? Yeah. yeah. For, I'll ask you a couple of things. Do you think you can kill someone humanely and do you think animals have rights, the ones that we even treat nicely and then we take their life from them? I think you 
Like, how do you think? What do you think rights are? Uh, like, what do they mean to you? What does the right mean to you? The right to life? Uh, my friend's um, mother is a lawyer for yeah. um, men and women who have uh, issues with their health, and so they want to go and they want to kind of pass on. Well, you think people should have the right to choose their bodily autonomy and, and what hap if they're suffering, yeah. they should have the right In to end their own life? Your own life. Your, so it's your the life. right to your a choice to your own bodily autonomy sort of thing, uh, sort of freedom from subjugation. Yeah. And I think, especially with all the things going on about abortion at the moment in the US, and I think it's just about, like, it's about a basic ability to have control of your body and have mm. the ability to choose what you want to do with yeah. that. And I guess when we make the choice to eat animals, we're sort of making the choice for them in their life, aren't we? We're, we're, even if, let's just say they're at this humane factory where, that kills animals humanely or whatever, yeah. um, we're still making the choice to end their life for our consumption. Do you feel like that's fair? I feel like it's very difficult to not captivise animals because even in sanctuaries and areas, yeah. they're all kept in a cage still. Uh, in sanctuaries where they're like let's just uh, make the distinction between like okay. guardianship and like okay. use and exploitation yeah. so use and exploitation is obviously it's difficult to kind of draw the line of where we kind of have that kind of circle of the use of animals and or the killing of animals and things like that as well as kind of the use of for instance insects for like um so where do we draw the line between animals yeah. and insects? Yeah, because some people say that um, some vegetables that are uh, pollinated. pollinated by yeah. bees yeah. aren't avocado, vegan. Avocado, for example. Yeah, avocado uh, so and nuts we use and we use bees to pollinate crops. Yeah. Do you think that therefore justifies um, killing other animals if, if we have to do that for plant crops for our survival or for our human health? Or I mean, I think that some people's diets. Do you yeah, I think I'm, I'm a vegan, I'm all for veganism, but I do think there is a level of understanding that we have to have with other yeah. people. Not everyone can be a vegan. Yeah. It is a bit more expensive, um, generally mainstream. Mainstream um, veganism, like mainstream the uh, veganism. products and stuff. Like the f***ing chai seeds, sorry, better, chai seeds, I don't know. Rice. Chai yeah, you seeds, can swear. um, <laughs> <laughs> all of that, like it's, it's not f***ing chai seeds. <laughs> nah. Do you know what I mean? Like but like rice, beans, potatoes, yeah, corn, I cheapest foods in the supermarket, fresh, yeah. so... Yeah. I don't know. I don't have yeah, an answer for that. You don't have enough, <laughs> because I, I started to think about this, and like, do you feel like the principles that we embody about equal, equality and compassion and acceptance? Yeah. Do you think it only makes sense that we extend that to non animals as well, non-human yeah. animals that suffer? And yeah, yeah, yeah. You can feel that. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah. Uh, it it seems like if you had more information, like more. Yeah, we need more education. More I think. education. Yeah. Yeah, because it seems like uh, most people here animal lovers as well. Uh, Think everybody like loves dogs animals, and yeah. cats and cows yeah. and pigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's if you found like, let's just press you on the nutrient thing. If you found you could get all your nutrients from a plant-based diet, yeah, uh, would you think about moving towards that? Oh, I do it straight away. Yeah. I do it straight away. A hundred percent. Wow. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> um, can I ask you what that medical condition is? Um, yeah, it's hyperkalemic periodic paralysis. It's um, a muscle condition, and I've got seven times the normal average of potassium in my body. Okay. So I have to find other ways to balance it out. Mitigate your yeah. potassium. So you can't take in too much potassium? No, I can't eat bananas and just things with high potassium. Okay. So I have to balance it out and make sure that I get other nutrients and other okay. like chemicals into my body so I don't mess wow. up and but stuff. But you, you, if you found out you could get these nutrients, you'd be, you'd be straight on board with animal equality and yeah. human equality? I mean, yeah. it's... Um, it's kind of a big jump to go from eating meat all the time to not eating meat all. So obviously you have to kind of make that change transition. progressively. Yeah. What if I help you guys with the transition and you would need specific guidance yeah. on um, designing a plant-based yeah. diet to suit your condition? Yeah? yeah. Wow. So if I gave you some guidance, would you be have? Would you give it a go for like yeah, say 30 I'd days? Yeah, definitely give it a go. You would oh, need yeah. proper doctor supervision yeah. with yours. Yeah, I would. You would give it a go? Yeah, I'd give it a go. Because it doesn't feel good for animals to be sort of excluded out of this mm, circle yeah. of equality and compassion. It's such a loving day and. I found out when I found out that now a lot of um, rogues are made free range wise, mm. I was a lot happier. But then, 
But then if you ever, uh, the worst thing is like when you see videos of like, especially like baby animals or anything, just being yeah. like disregarded, like maybe baby chicks, male, male, male baby chicks. chicks. In the egg maybe, industry, yeah. They're literally, uh, they're just like given the most inhumane like deaths So they're in not the world. treated like, uh, Actual they're treated like products, aren't they? Like animals in the, in the food Even, industry, they're treated like sort of resources without, we don't respect their right to life. Yeah. So are people sometimes. Yeah, yeah. They are. And we're, we're all, should be against that. And we should have laws protecting people. Do you think we should have laws protecting these animals from being turned into food as well? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Some of these companies support the kind of thing that we're talking about. Yeah. Treating humans like tools, treating animals like tools. Yeah. And they come and support equality. I don't yeah. think they support equality. Yeah. But Pressuring people into veganism is not the way to go. No, no, no. I think. But questioning, questioning the reason why... We, yeah, that's why I'm... I don't mean to be oh, like putting you under any pressure at all. I, I want to question these... Because yeah. um, yeah. I'm a vegan now for six years and I never questioned using animals, exploiting them, eating them. They were just food to me. They were just products. I never yeah. viewed them like equals or like even close to equal. We don't have to view them as exactly on par with human beings, but enough not to treat them as stock and yes, chop them up and yes, eat them. Yes. And I feel like such a beautiful pride march like this it embodies some principles. And I feel like if we extend those principles out to animals, we can make a more peaceful world for all. Yeah. You know, and that, that discrimination that se separates us, we could bridge that gap between us and fish and other animals and, you know, people that are different, different races, different yeah, sexualities and that. yeah. You agree with it? Yeah. We're on the same page? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's like you wouldn't eat your own like pet. So I say don't. If you had a cat. Yeah, you wouldn't eat those, so why should you eat pigs? Oh my god. Yeah. You just now, would you eat a dog to get these nutrients to balance out your potassium? No. no. Why not? Because that's just, everyone kind of sees those as pets. So I don't, I don't enjoy eating animals. Like I, I don't eat pork and I don't eat beef. I just kind of stick to chicken and pigs I know, and cows you eat. I, I, only. Yeah, I okay. only eat the chicken. But, but you wouldn't eat a dog to balance out your potassium, but you would eat a cow or you would eat chickens to balance out your potassium. I mean, I would prefer not to, but obviously yeah. it's kind You're of You're in a just, bit of a situation yeah. different to everyone. That's, it. That's so interesting how we like, yeah. we wouldn't eat a dog for no reason, yeah. but we'd find reasons to eat chickens yeah. because of the way we've been culturally sort of... Yeah. I was too. I've been vegan now for six years. Oh wow! Yeah. So I stopped eating. I used to eat steak every night. I didn't yeah, even see yeah. animals. I just saw food. Yeah. So once we like sort of break away from that sort of conditioning, yeah. we start to see animals as equal, yeah. and yeah. we all start to live. Do you think if we saw animals more equally, would then extend more equality and compassion to each other, and it would create more peace generally? Yeah, I yeah. definitely think so. But at the same time, we've also got to think about like global issues because obviously if. We, and I don't want to be horrible, but if we do stop, there could be an overpopulation because there's already an overpopulation of humans on this planet. So if we continue with animals and stuff, if we don't just... kill and eat animals, they would overpopulate oh, no. the earth. You mean? No, I don't. I don't mean like that. But just there, there will be certain people that have a set mindset. So like those protesters up there, I'm pretty sure they have a set mindset of like eating animals. And there's obviously going to be other people as well. So it's going yeah. to be difficult. I guess we have to look at the... When we look at issues of oppression, we always look at it from the victim's perspective, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Not the people who are killing and eating the animals. Yeah. It's from the animal's eyes. What would they want? Yeah. So I think we should... Uh, do you think we should prioritise the views of the victim first? Yes. Yeah. Like, look in the case of the LGBT community. Like, we'd always prioritise the views of the, yeah. the victim, the human victims, whether they're children, women, yeah. Uh, yeah. homosexuals or animals. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. I honestly think that we should prioritise the victims, like, sort of awesome. side. You guys are really switched <laughs> on and you're in a really good mood. And if I leave you some resources, yep. you promise to check them out? Yes. Yeah. These <laughs> yeah. are legends. Excellent. Well, here, I've got a card for you. This is a, a vegan challenge. You can be supported, and there's some information here about how animals are treated in the UK. Here, it's land of hope and glory. This is oh, all UK. Got, oh, you've got Cowspiracy, what, what the hell. Extend that equality to animals and treat everyone with compassion and, and help come together for a more peaceful world, brother. Thank you. If you ever want to try it, this is free on Facebook, and they fully guide your coach. It's totally free, and try out a vegan challenge, some information. This is all UK footage. Shows you the humane farms there. They're not as humane as what they tell you. That's just all a marketing ploy to get you to buy the product sort of thing. But thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Uh, thank you. Thank you. On Facebook, it's completely free and it's just a resource to help you transition. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. That's, that that sounds really we'll cool. Definitely yeah. check it out. Thanks yeah. for talking to me, thank guys. You. Take care. Yeah. What about if I showed you some, gave you a resource here? Yeah. 
and you, I get 150 grams of protein a day. I don't know how, how, how much protein you need. But if you found out you can get all the nutrition you need, yeah. would you leave animals like, off your plate and extend the equality to them as well? I'm not going to promise that, but uh, yeah, 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 no, you no. Think but, about it. Yeah, yeah, I will, yeah, absolutely think about it. I would love to do like a vegan challenge to see yeah. like if I can go vegan for yeah. like a month or so to see like do I do I get anything and how yeah. my body feels. After lots that. of yeah. beans, lots of high yeah. protein food. That's the Tempeh, problem. I hate yeah. beans and I need something. Tempeh too, yeah. tofu. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seitan is a good one too. Yeah, it's made of wheat, wheat meat. Yeah, and they don't get slaughtered, <laughs> so it's good. Yeah. Really yeah. good talking to you. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Enjoy, you too. enjoy the Pride March. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Take Absolutely. care. Take Absolutely. care, brother. See ya. Having a party. Woo!